to be honest, I feel like I know you guys pretty well because I've watched a fair bit of your stuff. <laughs> my brother. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. May Allah bless you. It's Allah my honour to host you guys in my house. It really is a real honour. These women are not innocent. As we saw today come out, phone records of them plotting together how to best extract resources. Why is the CCTV footage not included? Why are there all these leaks coming out? Why are they being held such an extended period of time without charges? Romanian law is Romanian law. If you have evidence, why would you not charge somebody? Everyone who looks at the case file is amazed that they're even detained in the first place. That's from the professionals. The Tate brothers will get out, unless there's some amazing new find, which there won't be. There will be a trial, hopefully sooner rather than later. Later, they will win. That is, inshallah, that is the end state. I've been around this man for hundreds of days. I'm a professional who's been trained in reading people. I think I would know if he was some oddly exploitative criminal. He's lived in my house. I'm in his house. I'm on the boats. I'm on the jets. I've never once seen him act in a way that matches any of these allegations. Imagine if every person on this planet felt accountable to a higher force. We wouldn't have crime. Tell me that doesn't result in a much better society. The type of masculinity that I see in Muslim men who are, take their faith seriously is a very rounded masculinity. Yes, you take care of your family. Yes, it's your duty to be strong and, and, and to be able to defend and provide. But at the same time, you can shed a tear when talking about your relationship with God. You can feel emotion and, and that, that's not frowned upon. Mm -hmm. And everyone's talking about the heart, as I mentioned. I think it's a very beautiful thing. You've got very masculine men who are also in a healthy way in touch with emotion through their relationship with God. What a fantastically rounded way to be a man in today's day and age, where we're being told all these different forms of, of being a man are the right way. <laughs> I think the Islamic you know, approach to being a man is, is the most effective. That's why are you living in a failed society? Come to the <laughs> he UAE. He told us this off camera too. And, and <laughs> soon, Habib, inshallah. And, and, well, I, I'll do everything I can to help you guys set up here. I, I really, I see what you're doing is very valid and, and I'd love to support it. If you guys as a podcast were a, 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 a company listed on a stock exchange, I would invest in you. Wow. Well, oh, it's wow. true though. You're going to continue to grow. You guys are doing this for the right reasons. Even when we, we said da'a before we started, uh, that touched me. You guys are not doing this for clout or, or for or more followers. Look at me you are genuinely putting forward a very positive message which has, for the youth of today, like, it's, very, it's needed. It really is. So anything I can do to support, 